Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is one of the only the main character, and here you guys today, bringing you another episode in our top five series. Here you guys today, we're going to continue with our generations, as last week we did Kanto, so today we are doing the Johto region. So if you guys are hype, hit that like button down below, it means a lot to me. And as always, remember that these are 100% my opinion, it's just what I think. You're entitled to your own opinion, in fact I encourage you to leave your top five Johto Pokemon in the comment section below. But without further ado, as you see on your screen, we're not actually on Showdown like we were last week. I actually got something set up, but it's better than nothing. It's not the best. Definitely, once I get an actual PC set up, there will be a lot of editing with this series. And I, I have a lot of plans for this series because I'm really hyped to do it. And I expect this to go for quite a little bit of time. Anywho, we're actually here on the first game I ever played, not the actual like cartridge but it's a rom pokemon crystal uh just randomly i picked up a cyndaquil basically we're going to be running around in the grass and i have codes that'll show you which pokemon it is so yeah without further ado let's jump into it now first up on the list in the number five position we actually have a lovely pokemon known as chikorita look at that little fucking leaf uh, I love when Chikorita does the animation with the whipping the hair back and forth. Uh, I just love Chikorita's design. Every single time I played through um, Generation 2, it was always my starter. Always, like, without a doubt. It was just kind of the Pokemon that I definitely wanted to rock out with. And hold on, let's see if... Yeah, just look at... Oh, fuck, did I skip the animation? Yes, I did. But yeah, it was just the starter I always rocked out with. There wasn't a lot of other reasons for it be here it's just one of those pokemon that from the mo first moment i ever saw it like just as soon as i saw the starter options and then i just see that little leaf flip i'm just like <laughs> i just love chikorita chikorita is honestly it's probably within my top like three starters to his day even though meganium it's not exactly the best starter in the world in terms of like viability and competitive and all that but i still do like it so hey it's always got that going for it. Now, you'll see on screen the little cheat list oh, with all the Pokemon, because I can't edit, so haha. -ha. But uh, we'll actually be moving on to our number four spot in this Blades of Grass, which comes to... Get my cursor off the screen. Zatu. Zatu, if you did not know, is actually a proud member of the main Malamars, our competitive league format team. And ever since Generation 2, which... Still my first game and all that, but ever since then, I've always looked at Zatu and I've been like, this is dope as shit. A psychic flying type? That's like a totally unique thing. Granted, this was back in Gen 2 before Sigalyph was a thing, and quite frankly, we don't talk about Sigalyph. We, we just don't. Just Sigalyph, go away. Anyway, Zatu. Zatu is an amazing Pokemon, at least in my eyes, in terms of both competitive and just sitting in an LP and playing, um... It definitely has a wide move pool for what it's supposed to be, uh, with access to both physical and special moves. Uh, fun fact, I actually have run a physical Zatu before, and it does quite a bit of damage. Not gonna lie, it does quite a bit of damage. But, once again, it's just one of those Pokemon that, as a child, I just looked at it, I was like, this is so dope! And just to this day, it's always just got a font, like, every time I see a Zatu, like, my, health, my heart just melts a little bit, because I'm like, Zatu, nothing wrong can come here. And then I see it on a competitive team, and I'm like, oh, you're running, uh, what the hell's Magic Bounce? You're running Magic Bounce. And I'm just like, well, fuck me. But so, yeah, that's my boy Zatu coming in the number four spot. Now, next up, I believe, if I do recall from my notes and everything, this is a tie for our number three spot. Because there's just too many good Pokemon to choose in this wide world of ours. It's either a tie for three... No, I think it's actually a tie for two, if I do remember correctly. Hold on. If we can just... Oh. Yes, it is a tie for number two, actually, instead of number three. So, holding down the number three spot by himself, as you see on your screen, is Octillery. Now, Octillery is the definition of a wide move pool. The man gets Flamethrower. The man gets Grass Knot. I'm pretty sure he gets, like, Shockwave. I don't think he gets Thunderbolt, but I think he gets, like, Shockwave. Uh, he gets Energy Ball, gets Sludge Bomb. He just gets everything you would need. And I'm gonna die. Oh, I didn't. Hey, shout out to Cyndaquil. But so, yeah, just the Octillery to me was always... It just, once again... See, that's the thing with Johto, is just... 
it's always Pokemon that just look cool as shit to me. And, I don't know, it's just kind of an interesting Pokemon. Like, it evolves from that little fish, and you never think fish to octopus. But, like, look at him, he looks like he's gonna fuck your day up. And I remember, I believe it was like the second or third time I played through Crystal. Uh, I literally got an Octillery, because I never used it. I, I hated water types growing up, I never had one on my team. But, um, eventually I put this Octillery on my team, because I was like, why not? And, um... I literally just swept the Elite, like, I'm pretty sure this was, like, the third Pokemon I got to level 100, and it was just, there's so many memories this week, you know what I'm saying? It just, it's hit me in the heart, it's making me feel old as shit, and I don't want to feel old as shit, but my boy Octillery, and at the end of the day, even if you hate Octillery, look at him, he's got his fins up, he, he just wants a hug, man, he's got two of his arms, he's like, come here, bro, I got you, I got you, give me that hug, give me that good hug, yeah, yeah. So that's my boy Octillery. He's chilling in the number three spot. Uh, definitely want to. I don't know. I might start running a PU team based around Octillery and possibly a few other mons. Uh, definitely Cacturn, as we all know. But yeah, he's just gonna chill. But Octillery chilling in the number three spot. Next up, we have a tie for number two. Because there's just too many good Pokemon out there. Or at least in the Johto region. Which, if you didn't know, Johto only added 100 mons. But, so yeah, tied for the number two spot, our first of our number twos, is Blossom. Blossom! I don't know how it went in the anime. Every, I always remember I would get Violet Plume whenever I would play through, um, because I played Crystal, then went back and played Red and Blue. But the thing was, I never even knew Blossom was a thing. Because think about it, nobody had her, nobody did nothing with her. And whenever I played Crystal, I didn't realize Kanto was a thing. I was a very stupid kid, so I just never, I never went to Kanto after. I would just reset my game. But, so you have Blossom, and it was just one of those things where I always had Vileplume. And don't get me wrong, Vileplume's a dope Pokemon, but I was always like, I want something more. I want, like, a nice little, uh, just something nice and pretty and serene, and just, I want a happy ending for Oddish, you know what I mean? And we finally got it in second gen being Blossom. And Blossom is literally just a little hula dancer. She's just like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Blossom's freaking great. And also, uh, the Gen 2 sprite, if any of you remember, oh my god, what was the stupid doll's name? It was like the green, oh my god, was it Jumbo or Sticky or some shit? It wasn't Sticky. Um... It might have been, jo I have no clue, I do not remember the little thing's name. If you rem if you have some idea what I'm talking about with, like, the the little green doll, and it wasn't really a doll, it was just kind of like a beanbag, sort of, that had the face and the arms and the legs, but no, like, hands or feet or anything. That shit was my childhood, and whenever I saw Blossom, I was just like, that's just him in a skirt, and it's just fucking dope. I don't know, I just love Blossom, especially in competitive, granted the speed stat's really all that's hurting it, if I had like base 75, chlorophyll, on a sun team it would definitely be able to put in work, but that is of course a tie for number 2, uh, because there's another Pokemon that definitely deserves a number 2 spot on this list, because countless times I've sat here and used him, um, or talked about him, or whatever have you, and this Pokemon is... The big bear himself. Soviet Russia. Yeah. We're talking about my boy Ursaring. Ursaring is a dope Pokemon. Whenever you see Teddy Ursa, you're like, oh yeah, it's Teddy Ursa. That's all fun and stuff. And the, But then he like sit there and you actually train him up. And then he like bulks up and he's like, let's go. And I don't know if y'all have seen in competitive, but uh, my man Ursaring gets this little ability. It's called Guts. And slap a flame orb on that. Or, eat hell, if you want to run Quick Feet, well, I guess you can, I guess at that point you'd have to do Toxic Orb to not hurt yourself. But, Quick Feet, Toxic Orb, Facade, you're, you, something's dying. Ursaring, I believe, has like a base 130, 135 attack stat, which is higher than Entei. And this is actually really quick sidetrack from Ursaring, even though he's on your screen. Something I never knew about Entei. He only has 115 attack. I thought it was so much higher than that. I do not. My boy Entei's gotta hit the gym. That's that's all it is. But so yeah, Ursa Ring. It was one of the first. It was one of the first normal types I ever used because I was like, 
as a kid, normal and water types just weren't my thing. It just wasn't my thing. I would always rock out with... When I played Crystal, I would have Chikorita. I would have... Um, I'd have the number one Pokemon, which was technically a normal type, so I guess you can get me there. Um, then I also had... I also had your nice and powerful... I grabbed a Bellsprout, because I was that guy. Um... And my team was always just mismatched. It was just kind of those three as a core and after that. But, so yeah, Ursa Ring was always one of those Pokemon I never used. But later on, probably around 5th gen, I started really liking Ursa Ring. Because he hit like a truck and he just never got any love. So you know what? I'm going to give that big boy a hug. Because he needs it. He's out here chopping trees, doing the damn thing. But so now, after the legends that you have seen, Chikorita, Ursa Ring, Blossom, Octillery. And one other that I've already forgotten, which is bad because it's on this top five list. We have the number one, which I probably didn't even need to put a code in for, but I did anyway. Just to guarantee the encounter. And ladies and gentlemen, my number one Johto Pokemon, the favorite out of all 100 in the Johto region. Now, I, I can explain. If you play through gold and silver, the man looks gold, number one. Which I found out later was a shiny. But every, every single game that has ever come out, even X and Y, my first goal is to find a Sentra. Because he looks so fucking dope. I love Sentra to pieces. If there were a Pokemon I could have in real life, I would want a Sentra. Because he's literally just, he's like a big ball of fluff, but he's got them fists ready. You see them? Hold up. Do you see these pixelated fists? He's ready. He's got his guns up. He's like, square up. Square up right now. You think, you think you're bad because you're taller than me? I'm standing on my tail. What's up? What's good? What's good? My man is literally ready to fight. He's literally ready to go. Like, ho, ho, you thought you were going to take me down? Ho, ho, ho. Here's a cross chop. Boom. You're dead. You don't know what hit you. I don't know, just ever since, I literally, because I had my Chikorita and I was fawning over it, and I'd be running around Route 1 just training it up, because I always like to get that, I was that guy that would get a bay leaf before the first gym, uh, and it was just one of those things I did, because Pokemon was new to me, this was my first game, and I encountered Sentra, I believe when I hit like level 9 or some shit, and I lost my freaking mind, like Sentra, fuck. Put it back on the screen. There we go. Fuck! I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go quit. I'm just gonna quit. I'm just gonna quit. There we go. Sentra is just a dope-ass Pokemon. It's just... I see, here's the thing. I feel like I need to be able to rationalize into words what I feel, but I just I just can't. It's just... That's basically what I think. And it just comes out as mush. But literally just, if you can't look at Sentra and bring a smile to your face, then I don't know what you're doing with your life. Because literally Sentra, he's just here ready to fight. But if you train him right, he'll give you a hug. Now, Furret, do not talk to me about Furret. I was that guy that hit B. Deadass walked into the Elite Four with a level, I think it was 52 Sentra. Because I overlevel my mods to shit. Literally, level 52 Sentra. No joke. It had double edge, and it killed nothing. Actually, I think it killed, like, two of Will's Pokemon. But other than that, I was that kid that never bought revives. I was very stupid as a kid playing Pokemon. Ah, oh, fuck. Hold on. Can you... Don't you love when you're doing something and Netflix decides to play for no reason? Anyway, before I can have even more editing errors, which aren't going to get edited because I physically can't edit, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this top five up with the little sentry on the screen if you guys did enjoy make sure to hit that like button down below makes lets me know you appreciate the content and what i do here and as i said do not forget to comment your own top five johto pokemon because i want to see what you guys like from johto maybe you're a fan of the legendary beasts i know my good friend Bree is a fan of suicune i know my man wilbur loves his raikus and i know my other friend justin loves entei so who knows you could be or Heck, maybe you're that guy that loves a Hoot Hoot. And I ain't gonna judge you for that, because Hoot Hoot's pretty dope. He almost made it on this list. But with that, this is gonna be the Mega Cacturn, signing out.